Dear friends, through this video we will learn MGF of bivariate normal distribution function. But to know the MGF of bivariate normal distribution function, we have to recollect the two ideas. One is MGF of univariate normal distribution. Univariate normal distribution that is if x is related to the normal distribution with mean mu and variance sigma square, then whose MGF of x MGF is denoted as mx of t. It is equal to e power mu t plus t square into sigma square divided by 2. So this idea of how to recollect. This is the idea from the, the previous stage in that the last semester what we learned. And, and it can be written in the form of exponential of. Or suppose we, we can use a e power or otherwise exponential. That we have idea here. And the second idea is suppose instead of the x variable, I have a variable that with a conditional distribution that is y given x, whose the mean value is mu x and variance value sigma uh, mu, uh, sorry, the mean value is mu star and uh, the variance value sigma star. Already we know what is the mu star value. The mu star value is nothing but mu y into rho sigma x divided by sigma y into x minus mu x and also sigma, sigma star square is equal to sigma y square into 1 minus rho square. This already the known values. Then the corresponding moment generating function of the variable y given x is m x of m y of t that is x is given it is equal to mu star of t exponential of mu star of t plus t square into mu star square divided by t. This also we have to apply or to find the moment generating function of bivariate distribution. And also we can recollect the idea uh, the moment generating function m x of t can be written in the form of exponential of e power t x. And it is a continuous distribution, therefore you can write exponential of e power tx is integral x e power tx into f of x dx. This is the idea you need. Now we can go for finding the moment generating function of bivariate normal distribution. I will start with the notation moment generating function of the bivariate x and y with respect to t1, t2. It can be written in the form of uh, how we are writing the first variable in the same way I am writing the second variable that is e exponential of sorry uh, it is not exponential expectation of e power t1 x plus t2 y. Uh, the expectation can be written in the form of integration but here the variable is two variable that's why I am using x variable and y variable here that you can write in this form that is integral x integral y e power t x plus that is t 1 x plus t 2 y. Uh, what is the corresponding function here with respect to x and y means it is in bivariate function that is f of x comma y dy dx. If you are having a joint distribution like that means we can't proceed and we can't find evaluate the integration that's why our plan is we have to convert this one in this some some other form. So that's why uh, I want to recollect the idea what we learned here, earlier that is uh, I am planning to convert this one as a conditional distribution form that is we know already uh, the probability density function of y given x that is f of y given x is equal to f of x comma y divided by f of x. From this we can find what is f of x comma y. That is f of x comma y is equal to f of x into f of y given x. That is we have a result here. Yeah. Now I have idea instead of this term I can replace this term. So that I am replacing in the next stage. Look here. In the next stage. So in this integration. In this integration I replaced this f of x comma y as f of y given x into f of x. So that I wrote here. Okay. So if you are looking this one, uh, many unwanted variables inside the integration. 
uh, for example the inner integration the inner integration is with respect to y only but it must be a constant you can take out on the same way it is also constant with respect to the inner integration that's why in the next step what i am doing i want to take outside this d1x and f of x so that is my plan uh, yes exactly integral x e power t1x is taken out in the same way f of x is taken out what is the remaining means e power t2y into f of y given x but if you are looking the inner integration uh, something what we learn, what we discussed earlier it is coming now that is integral y integral over y uh, e power e power t2y into f of y given x just i will move on to the the previous stage the previous stage we discussed here look here actually uh, it is a moment generating function of y given x uh, it can be expressed in the form of expectation of e power y given x so that's why ty uh, x is in fixed here so that's why no need to write x uh, it can be written in the form of integral over y integral over y uh, into e power ty e power ty what is our function means here the function is y given x so therefore i want to write the function as y given x the function variable into dy yeah so what is a uh, actually this integral is nothing but the moment generating function of y given x so this idea i want to implement in that stage look here this entire the inner integration it is in the form of the moment generating function of y given x but instead of t i have t2 so that's why i am writing as what we know the value of the moment generating function of y given x of t2 it's nothing but this value because the y given x that conditional distribution mean value is mu star and the variance value sigma star just i replaced and what is mu star and what is sigma star that we know already that i wrote here new star is this one that is the next replacement in this integral and the next stage look at here the next stage um, i just substitute what is mu star what is sigma star where it is means that the mu star, mu star is replaced like this and the sigma star is replaced like this that must be in the next line look here instead of mu star i wrote mu y sigma so, so rho into sigma y divided by sigma x rho into sigma y divided by sigma x into x into x minus mu x and whole thing is multiplied with t it is our mu star in the same way i am replacing sigma star in the next stage i am not disturbing any other thing just i will keep all the things as it is if you are looking in this integral so some unwanted the constant terms are appeared here so this integration is with respect to x so therefore other than the x whatever you have you can take it out nothing matter so then mu y is there so the mu y is in constant uh, so therefore e power mu y into t2 e power mu y into t2 that is taken out that is the first term i am taking out because it is constant with respect to the integral okay and rho into sigma y divided by sigma x into mu x this is also constant so therefore that's also taken out e power rho into mu y divided by mu x into uh, mu x into t2 that's also taken out uh, if you are looking here this entire term is a constant because there is no variable x here so therefore that's also taken out so three terms i am taken out or the one term is here and the one more term that is this mu x term is here and one more term this mu y term is here okay so the what is the remaining you have means this x term this x term is remaining and the e power tx is remaining and the f of x is remaining inside the integral so that e power tx i am writing here okay and this x into something so that should be written here and finally the f of x value is also written here 
that you have in the next two term okay so this is an usual calculation students you have uh, you are not at all having a confusion with this one uh, <coughs> now i am writing instead of writing as a e power it is better to write exponential so that's why e is changed as exp uh, uh, that term I appeared as it is that is mu y into t2 that's mu y into t2 as it is rho into rho into sigma y by sigma x into minus mu x t2 this minus is written in front that's I am writing here and this term as it is I am not disturbed anything uh, it is better to multiply inside next step I will multiply uh, this term in that the common thing is x and x this x should be taken out and what is the remaining means t1 plus rho into sigma y by sigma x into t2 into x into f of x dx okay the next step this exponential term i am not disturbing anything this entire term as it is and in this integration this the entire bracket i assumed as t i assumed this one as t so then what is the remaining have? you can write this one as tx t into x okay f of x dx if you are looking this one uh, what is t means the t is written here note it actually this the bracket term i wrote as a t so that t value is here if you are looking this integration this integration look at here in this integration uh, it's looking like that moment generating function of t with respect to x uh, therefore you can write the bracket term as it is that bracket term as it is nothing now that is the first term as it is and the second term this integral can be written in the form of moment generating function of x with respect to t okay you know what is the moment generating function formula uh, the first term as it is only the changes i multiplied this one here and this one here and i wrote here as a two term i split that one as a two part that's only if you have a change in the first bracket term and moment generating function of x with respect to t can be written in the form of mu x t plus t square into t square into sigma x square divided by 2. So this is a formula moment generating function formula I expressed that one and the next stage look at here uh, this is also exponential this is also exponential so then you can merge this to exponential term. Uh, nothing it is e power something and e power something is there means you can add the powers that is the rule instead of the base common okay so the same rule i am applying here if you are applying it can be combined as a exponential of the first term that is the first term the entire term and the second term you have as it is okay but i i want to replace what is t what is our t means the t is already have and we defined a t ourselves the t value is looking here uh, look here the t value is i am rewriting here t is equal to t1 plus rho into sigma y divided by sigma x into t2 that is the t value now my plan is i want to replace i want to substitute this t in that and also in that that is my plan because t square and t is there so that is in the next step student look here mu y into t2 minus rho into sigma y divided by sigma x and mu x into t2 that is this term doesn't change it up to this one that isn't changed and here i replaced the value of t the value of t is substituted here and the value of t is substituted here the next step i want to take a whole square formula that's only you have yeah look at here I'm not at all disturbing this term, this term as it is, this term as it is, up to this one is same, and this term is multiplied inside, that is mu x into t1, mu x into t1, mu x into this one, that is mu x into that one, and here you have whole square formula. If you are making whole square, it is coming as, uh, it is coming as t1 square, two times of t1 into this one, and the finally uh, a plus b whole square is a square it is a a square term it is a a square term it is a 2ab term it is 2ab term looking like here you have b square term b square term so that is a plus it is a it is like a b a plus b 
whole square a plus b whole square can be written like that and every term is multiplied with sigma square divided by 2 sigma square divided by 2 sigma x square divided by 2 sigma x square divided by 2 yeah after simplification of this one if you are looking here uh, this sigma x square whole square this one and this one is cancelled i think uh, here nothing is cancelled but here you have sigma x square and sigma x square sigma x square these two are cancelled yeah this term and this term is cancelled in the similar way this term it is mu x t2 mu x t2 rho into sigma y by cx okay this term and this term is cancelled what are the remaining term you have is this one and this one and this one and it is also appeared yeah that's all one one two three four four terms are there okay so uh, i will write that four terms now uh, what you have means that is first i am writing the third term the third term is oh sorry third term is here so the third term is mu x t1 first term is here that is mu y t2 and second term yeah second term i am writing here but 1 by 2 is there that 1 by 2 is taken common okay that is second term it is in second term i am writing number it is better it is in second term okay it is a first term this is in third term and finally i have a two more terms oh sorry this is one more term you have fifth term okay uh, fourth term i am writing here the 1 by 2 is taken out this 1 by 2 is taken out uh, finally you are having what fifth term the fifth term uh, here also the 1 by 2 is there that 1 by 2 is taken out yeah so that's all student finally we found what is an mgf this must be the mgf this is an mgf of that bivariate normal distribution that is mgf of bivariate normal distribution is c e power mu x t1 plus mu y t2 plus 1 by 2 into t1 square sigma x square plus t2 square sigma y square plus 2 times of t1 t2 into sigma x sigma y this is you have a moment generating function of two variable in this way we are providing the result of the moment generating function of two variable thank you students i hope you have idea